Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay and welcome to The Ship Life. So by now you may or may not have already heard the unfortunate breaking cruise news. Virgin Voyages has announced that their third ship, The Resilient Lady, the ship that I am currently in rehearsals to work on as a crew member and entertainer, has canceled its inaugural sailing, its mermaiden voyage, its launch here in 2022, and will now take place in 2023. Now in this video, I just wanna give you guys the information and what has happened in history's past when it comes to situations like this. If you wanna know how I'm feeling emotionally and what's going on in regards to the crew members, then you can check my other channel Jay the Nomad link to which would be right up here it'll also be pinned in the description box below as well as pinned in the comment section now myself as well as the people that are performing in my show we did get this news yesterday morning right before our rehearsals or our practice time for the show that we were supposed to be performing on board Virgin Voyages the Resilient Lady and I gotta admit it was very emotional and well, it's just, it wasn't a good day for everybody. But I have to be honest with you, I am not surprised in the slightest at this news due to everything that has happened over the past couple weeks. Now, I have also been telling you guys over the past couple weeks and news that I've been talking about, a lot of which of you have been coming out and saying that, well, it's BS, it's not happening, and it's just rumors, and that I'm gassing this entire situation up when it comes to the crew shortages, when it comes to supply chain issues, and everything else under the sun, COVID that's been taking place over the past couple weeks and unfortunately causing issues here and there all over the world for the cruise ship industry. So Virgin has admitted that it is due to supply chain issues as to why they are going to delay the inaugural sailing of the Resilient Lady. They also, of course, do talk about crew shortages. And I want to point out that you do have to pay attention to things like this because Virgin, they don't have mega ships. They're not exactly Wonder of the Seas or Odyssey of the Seas or the Carnival Mardi Gras. So if this is happening to smaller, large, mega yacht type ships, what do you think this means for the rest of the cruise? ship industry and I don't mean this in a negative way but just look back what has already happened to the NCL Prima now this ship doesn't hold a ton of people like Wonder of the Seas or the largest ships out there on the planet but either way you can just kind of look at the breadcrumbs and see where all this is already going now I do hate to speculate however I do believe that we do have to kind of look at what a potential new launch date will be in 2023 for Virgin Voyages Resilient Lady and look at some factors that we have taken into consideration as to exactly when or even why they would launch on a certain date. Honestly, I predicted and had an idea that some situation like this with a delay or a cancellation of an inaugural sailing was going to take place for the Resilient Lady considering what happened to other ships like the NCL Prima that was also supposed to be sailing in Europe. However, I thought it was going to be maybe around November, December time here in 2022. But when you're talking about months like January, February, and the beginning of March over in the Mediterranean, it's very slow. And since Virgin is trying to target, well, let's say a more active, lively crowd, those people are typically working regular jobs in which they may not have that available space and time, or maybe they actually want to wait for the initial start, at least for springtime, to have their fun. In the Caribbean, you can start a little bit earlier for example we did have wonder of the seas the largest ship in the entire world with royal caribbean launch on march 4th but that's the caribbean it's always beautiful and sunny and warm and things start a little bit earlier over there when you're talking about a place like the mediterranean things do of course get pushed back a little bit and well you get the idea there are of course other factors to take into consideration other than of course things like covid the supply chain issue and crew shortages you have to look at maybe from a revenue perspective there are investors involved. Maybe Virgin is needing more money to be tied into, let's say, Virgin Voyages, not just coming from the rest of the Virgin groups. They might have a situation where they want to look and see how much potential revenue that ship could actually make before they launch. There are other things like, of course, well, what is going to be the perception of people and guests and sailors that are on board that ship going on a ship like that out of the Mediterranean? Is it going to have appeal? Are people going to love it so much that you're going to get a recurring? flow of passengers and money coming into Virgin Voyages that way. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on with that particular fact. Virgin did cancel until 2023 on Resilient Lady, and I did still have a cruise that was booked. That's why I got an email first thing this morning. So basically what's happening is we do have mainly two options as far as how we can handle this as potential sailors. I did have an XLC terrace on board, a balcony cabin, and we are getting, well, if we decide to keep our reservation, we are going to get 200% of future voyage credit. Well, you see Virgin has to do a little bit different 
different. There's no future cruise credit, future voyage credit. There is also the option to get a complimentary voyage, which I'll be honest with you, I'm definitely going to look into the details of because I have that future cruise credit, sorry, future voyage credit just kind of laying around. And well, as a future sailor, if I book before or rebook rather before July 31st, they're going to give me something called an access key. I got to look into all the details. I'm going to make some phone calls and version and see what we can work out because if I can do maybe let's say a back to back for the mermaiden voyage next year if I go as a passenger then I think overall that will look pretty good but either way guys I'm going to wrap this video up this is the news that's going on and well I, I feel some kind of way about it make sure you guys check out my other channel Jay the Nomad where I talk about how things are going from a crew perspective and how I'm feeling about the entire situation on your way out of course hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and of course let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below I love every single one of you thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you later take it easy